Welcome. Welcome again to my kitchen in Cork. And I have today a little treat. Something that I am especially pleased to have an opportunity to bring you. Now I mentioned before that I'm a poet. I write it, I read it. And for all I know, some of you may also like poetry. But there's a problem with poetry and that's what I'd like to talk about. Now, I've got all these poetry books. I got this guy, he's very, very famous. He, a lot of people's favorite Irish poet. I'm pretty impressed by a guy who walk, wrote Waltzing Matilda called Banjo Patterson. He got a great poem called, called what? Oh dear, I've even forgotten it. The Man from Snowy River. Okay, Dante I'm fairly keen on. Bukowski I'm big into. Dylan Thomas couldn't live without. But these are all famous. And I'm a bit of a aficionado of this guy. Walt Whitman, Leaves of Grass. That's another story. But I'm often asked about poetry. I've done a lot of poetry readings. And a lot of people say, but Paul, what does the poem mean? Big refrain. I wonder if you've ever asked yourself, what does the poem mean? That's the worst thing anyone could ever ask themselves, in my opinion, right? I've my own poetry, Irish epic poem, 33 cantos, available in the Kindle store. One single poem, another story. And I write this stuff. Latest poem. Now, why am I talking about this? I'm, I'm talking about this for one reason and one reason only. The worst thing I want, I, I want to give you this as the biggest thing I could give you in relation to poetry. The worst thing you could ever do is ask yourself, what does this poem mean? Ask not, what does this poem mean? But ask yourself, what does this poem mean to me? To me. That's what matters. This poem meant this to Walt Whitman, but the guy's dead, right? He's gone, you can look him up in history. But the poetry comes alive when you ask yourself, what does the poem mean to me? So there's my tip for you today and every day in relation to poetry. Ask yourself, what does this poem mean to me? It will, I guarantee you, totally transform your appreciation of poetry and make you infinitely more powerful and not at all intimidated by this stuff. After all, it's only words on a page. The rest is up to you. Thank you so much for listening. And remember, above everything else, what does the poem mean to you today? Until tomorrow, cheerio. Bye-bye.